gives R&D enough resources, then people will be able to come up with good seeds that our farmers can plant and that can withstand drought and diseases. Second, what about marketing of agriculture input like fertilizer, like seed? Are the farmers able to assess and get those seed at affordable price? Subsidy can be targeted. What about labor and mechanization? You know, are the farmers able to get the labor or the machinery that they need to do their, 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 their farm? You know, what about the, 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 the harvests? Are the farmers having the right tools and the right implement to harvest? You look at storage. You know, do they have the right facilities that they can store? Transportation. You know, do are we getting the seed? If you want to transfer seed from, let's say, eastern part of Kenya to northeast part of Kenya, you know, do we have the access? Do we target those things here? Millers, you know, are they being able to get the right quantity to mill? Then the shoppers. So when the question about subsidy is a policy issue, but subsidy should be backed by evidence. Where do we need to target the subsidy? Because in the long run, the question is, are people having access to the food? Are the food available? Are they having good storage of the food? And are they utilizing the food in a right way that can make them live productive and effective life as active citizens? So that is the question that if somebody asks today that what can we do about the food situation in this country? From this workshop, we were saying that if the government is using good evidence it will know the right area to intervene that will help the country to deal with the issues that we are facing today. The government should invest a lot with the climate change and mortality that is going on in R&D that will help us to get the right seed, the right uh, fertilizer and the right you know, uh, uh, resources to the farmers so that they will be able to produce against the climate change and mortality that is happening. Yes, uh, African countries are using maybe 9 million imports put from other developing nations. The problem that we have, and as I said, that when in it, every country in this world have three areas to ensure full sustainability. The ability to produce, the ability to store, and the ability to import. A country can face drought. No matter what the government have put in the production, drought is a natural phenomenon that you cannot deal with. If you face this situation, do you have the buffer, the storage that you can bring in? If you don't have the storage, do you are immediate, like in Kenya, the first thing that you ask is, do our commercial have the enough for you to bring in? If you don't have it in Comesa, do you have network beyond Comesa that you can get? So that is what we are saying that we should be able to have the three prone approach, the short-term approach, the intermediate approach, and the long-term approach.